Hey guys, today we will talk about Merchant Scroll and it is a common from Homelands. It is a tutor. So whenever you look at a tutor, understand that those are very good and there are two types. There's the Vampiric brand, which will put a card on top of your library and that is a card disadvantage. So we look at Vampiric Tutor as one of the best cards in ED8s and the best cards pretty much ever printed. It's one black, and you can get a, any card you want, you lose the two life, and you put it on top of your deck, meaning that you are down a card. Now, Mer Merchant Scroll is the second brand of tutors, which is a little bit less flexible, but you don't have card disadvantage, which is very important. So, like Demonic Tutor, the card just goes into your hand, it does not go to the top of your library, and that is very, very good. So when you look at Merchant Scroll, why is it spiking up in price? I mean, it's went all the way up to $9. And it's based on probably the other edition of it. It's not the common edition. It's the fact that it's an uncommon and eighth edition, which makes it modern playable. So this card went from $0.99 cents to $9 overnight. And then as you can see, it has dropped down to $4.61. Overall, a fantastic, fantastic buy had you made it. And the card makes a lot of sense to me, although I'm not sure what decks it's being played in. It, it can only get more and more powerful. And that's the type of card that you really want. Um, you don't want cards that scale poorly, uh, meaning that if it's a creature, uh, like Tamagoyf today, Tamagoyf used to be the best creature. Now it is, you know, you have Tassiger kind of in the same slot. Tomogorf in the future may not be the biggest creature for two. It may not be the biggest creature at all. And that's why it, a card like Tomogorf does not scale as well as a card like Merchant Scroll where you can get any blue instant. Blue instants are only going to get better and better and better with time. The same I can say with Snapcaster Mage. I, I mean, the one thing about Tomogorf is if they printed a new card type. So when Tomogorf was printed the first time, they did not have planeswalkers so it was not possible to put a planeswalker in your graveyard to make it grow bigger now that is an option so should they have invented a new card type especially a new type of land uh, then you, we will be looking at a stronger tamagoy and then at that point it scales but merchant scroll i mean we can talk about what could break this card what could absolutely break this card in terms of what it, it's going to be worth and the answer is very simple if we have legendary instance where you can only play so many of them in your deck i don't know how a legendary instant would work maybe you cannot play one if you have one in your graveyard then this this will be very good merchant scroll is probably one of the better tutors right now in modern i can't think of a tutor that's quite as good as it you can find a bullet uh, you can find that silver, that silver bullet to solve whatever problem you have. And that is very, very important in the type of decks that only play one of copies. Now, you might ask, why now? You know, this card has been around since Homelands. It's been around since Aether Edition. I don't know why now, but I do like it as a long-term hold if you already have these because it makes sense. Like, it makes a lot of sense to me. It's a card that scales well with new sets. It's a card that scales well with time in the modern format. And it just serves, if you have blue instants that are hate cards, it just serves as copies five to eight of those instants. And that's very, very powerful to f the flexibility as well as the fact that you're not getting card disadvantage makes it a very good tutor and modern. Now, EDH, yeah, it will see EDH play. It's, any tutor ability, even really bad tutoring ability to see play in ED8. So this card will always have value. The fact that at one time the Homelands version was 99 cents, I think it's a price correction more than just an arbitrary spike. Tutors are not supposed to be 99 cents. Like, no, especially the type of tutor that's the demonic brand where you don't lose that much. It's a one for one replacement. All you're losing is tempo. And yes, you are very limited. You're very limited in what you can pick because it has to be a blue instant.
But you know, blue instant can be a multicolored blue instant. It can be a counter spell. It can be a it can be a force of will. I've seen this card actually played in vintage decks, so it's that powerful, and that tells you how powerful tutors are. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you know why this card has spiked up a ton in price. Anyway, bye guys.